Hi guys, so today we are going to do the math lesson two problem set. Starts at the top is number three. And it has three word problems. Okay. And the first word problem goes like this. Say a three and author writes nine pages of her book each. many pages does she write in seven pages? And then it says, use a fives fact to solve. Okay. Let's take a deep breath. I will write in, well, this is blue, okay? That's where the answers will be. Now, they need us to do a fives fact. We know that the problem they're asking is nine pages each week times, how many pages to do in seven weeks? Seven, okay? That, is what we're trying to figure out is nine times seven. Now, some of you know your nines, some of you know your sevens, but what they added to it is we have to be able to use a fives fact. So you may remember that nine times seven, and we used to break this down into two facts and then we'd add the answer. So what we used to do, do not write this, this isn't what you have to write right now, I'll write it in orange. What we used to do is if the answer was six times eight, okay, we would go six times five plus six times three, and then you'd get those answers. And this is when we used a fives facts, okay, and six times five was 30, and six times three was 18, and then you'd add them up and you'd get 48. That would be the answer. So what they want to do is break it down into six times five, or in this one's going to be a different number times five, and then whatever's left over, that number times the five take away from eight. Because you see what happens, right? We keep our sixes. They all stay the same. Six, six, six. Okay? Now, when we break it into a five, we have to take eight minus five, and that's what we have left over is the three. That's how you split up two different math problems to equal the answer. Now I know some of your parents may even be looking at this going, that seems like a lot of work. And it does seem like a little extra work rather than just memorizing your multiplication facts. But what this does is allow us for the students and us that do not know multiplication facts at this moment, our fives are the easiest. Then we can do something like our threes. Rather than having to do nines and sevens, we can do fives and twos fours and threes, sixes and ones, whatever numbers you can add up to equal seven and then you're going to multiply it by nine. So now let's go back to what the problem will look like. Nine times seven. So we need to break this up into a fives fact. So we will do, we're going to stick with the nine. Nine times five plus Keep the nine times, and now what is seven? Take away five. Two. Okay, now we may not know our sevens and our nines, but we do know our fives. So what's nine times five? Let's count by fives, nine times. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 
So we have 45 here plus we know our twos. We may not know our nines, but we know our twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 14, 16, 18. Let's add them up. Eight plus five is 13. Carry one, four plus one plus one, six. The answer is 63. So nine times seven equals, she can write 63 pages in seven weeks. They broke it down into fives. Okay, that's why we did that. And if you look at it, we keep the nines, and five plus two is seven. That's how we have the five and the two. That's why we broke up that into two different facts. The only reason we did the five is one, we know our fives, and two, it says you have to use a fives facts, and that is a fives facts. It's five times something. Okay? Now, let me get, can I do the other one? All right, number four says, Mrs. Gonzalez buys a total of 32 crayons for a classroom, each pack, each has eight. How many packs? As many packs as she Okay, so first things first. We have thirty two crayons. Each pack contains eight crayons. They want to know how many packs. Now, if we were to take out pack and use the word group, it'd be much easier to think of it. And then when we start thinking of 32 crayons, each group has eight crayons. How many groups of crayons does she have? Then we know we're dividing, right? So this is how we did it. We have 32 crayons. We're going to divide it by eight, and that's going to equal the amount in each group. So our tape diagram is always the easiest. Okay, we can have eight um, crayons. Yeah, we'll count by our eights. So box one has eight. Okay, we need it to add up to 32 altogether. First one has eight, so we're gonna count by our eights until we hit 32, and that's gonna be the amount of boxes that we make. Okay? So, let's do it this way, actually. We got eight. Next one. We know our eights. Eight. 16. 17. 24, 32. How many boxes did she buy? Count the boxes. Four. Okay. We had 32. We broke it up into eight crayons in each of them, and then they want to know how many boxes we needed. She bought four boxes. Okay. Last one. Number. This one is not an easy one. This one is a difficult one. It's going to be different than what we normally get. Okay. So, Hannah has... $500. Okay. 
She buys a camera for four thirty-five. And four other items. Nine dollars each. Now Hannah wants to buy speakers for fifty. Does she have enough money to buy the speakers? Who? This one's got a lot of steps to it, so just follow along. First things first, we start with $500. We spend $435 for a uh, camera right from the start. All right? So we need to take that $500 and we have to take away that $435 right from the start because that's the big number. Right? So let us. Actually, let's do it this way. Instead of making a couple different subtraction problems, let's figure out how much we spent all together, and then we'll subtract it from the 500 and see how much we have left over. Okay? So, first thing we have, $435 spent. Now, we have to add another number. We did buy four items for $9 each. So that's four times nine. We have to multiply. Four times nine. Okay, and this is in money, right? So what is four times nine? You can either count by your nines four times or count by your fours nine times. I'll count by my nines four times so we can work on it. Nine, 18, 27, 36. So now we know we spent four thirty-five. We spent thirty-six dollars. Let's add up these two numbers because we have not purchased the speakers. That's what's it's a tricky thing. What they're asking us is, can we afford the speakers? First, we're going to add up these two numbers, and then when we mold, then we'll subtract it from our how much we have five hundred dollars, and we'll see if we have at least fifty dollars left over. So let's first add up four thirty-five plus. 36. Okay. And 6 plus 5 is what? Add them up. 11. Write a 1 underneath it and a 1 up here. We carry our 10 because we have a group. It's an 11. See them? You got to look it up. 11. Now we're in our 10s. 3 10s plus 1 10 is 4 10s. 4 plus 3 is 7, Three. okay, and then all we have is 4 plus 0, which is 4. Now, make sure you write your dollar sign over it. So now we have $471. Now, we have to see if we have enough for those speakers. Let's subtract how much we spent from $500 and we'll see we need to have over 50 to buy them. So let's take 500, subtract 471. Now some of you know how to borrow, some of you do not, but just follow along. Okay, It's like a place value chart. Zero, take away one. If I have zero dollars and I tried giving you one, can I do it? No. So now we have to go to the next one and ask our tens. Can we borrow something? Tens. We got nothing either. Now we have to go to our hundreds. We still have some left now. So we need to take 100 from it. So what you do is you cross off the five, make it a four. Because we took a set of 100, we're going to bring it over here. Now we have a small, now we have 10. But we still need it over in the one. So now we're going to cross off our 10. And what comes at before 10? So we're taking one away. 9 
and now we're going to have another 10 over here. Now we can start with our subtraction. 10 take away 1 is what? 9. Now we're up here. 9 take away 7 is? 2. And 4 take away 4 is? 0. How much money are we left with? $29. Can we afford our speakers at $50? No. She already spent that money, so she will not be buying speakers. Okay? Now, I hope you guys have that sheet. I hope you filled it in the way that it is. Okay? If you follow along, you'll get all the answers. You can pause the video at any time if you forget to write something down. Okay? So, follow along. Write out the answers that I write. If you have questions, ask me through Class Dojo. Okay? Have a great day, guys.